Let's get coffee. 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 Svetske kafe! Svetske kafe! Svetske kafe! Svetske kafe! Because um, I have friends who have tried starting trees uh, from seed. Basically, these are essentially started from seed, except that I harvested them already like this, a couple inches tall. So what I want to do is I'm going to put one in the ground over winter just to see if it, you know, if it actually overwinters in the ground. And these two, I'm just going to let a little bit of soil. <laughs> Guys, it's Swedish coffee. Here's a picture of Gustav III. Gustav was a king that tried to ban coffee in Sweden. He thought people who drank it behaved badly. Far cry from those days though. Now there's a mandatory coffee break in Sweden. It's called Fika. That said, no one really knows how the egg came into use with the coffee. One idea says that it was brought to America by the Swedes and became popularized in the Lutheran church. It's sometimes referred to as Lutheran church basement coffee. It's the kind of thing that would be served many people at once in a gigantic coffee percolate. Okay guys, back to the cook ground coffee and remaining fourth cup of water and egg in a small bowl. When the water's boiling, pour, carefully pour the egg and coffee mixture, down, turning down the heat, and then blah, blah, blah. Okay, so should I do a little intro? Like... <laughs> okay, this episode, this is kind of an interesting episode because I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. One of the things that's interesting when you try something is that you're bound to have mistakes or you're bound to have pleasant surprises. What we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our coffee in the similar way that we would use Mr. Coffee, uh, except that for the sake of the program, we're going to prepare it in a visual container so you can see what it looks like as we're, uh, as we're preparing it. So the first step is to boil some water. While that's boiling, we'll take the next step. Let's get coffee. Water, probably enough for... Okay, so we got the coffee pot. This is going to sit there. Actually, we'll pour it in when we're ready to pour it. Two, three, four. Let's add a little half. What is four and ten? Cuatro. 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 So what's, what's four in Swedish? Fira. It's fira. Cuatro. Cuatro. Fira. Fira. <laughs> One-handed style. Like that. That's good. So I'm gonna do a little sort of impression. All right, so we're gonna pour this in. We're gonna try to estimate about half. Ooh, that was pretty good. Now the directions say to create a mud out of coffee and eggs. So I'm going to very, very carefully mix it together to create kind of like a mud-like texture. You can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. Just try to put it in. To the filter. Combined with eggs. Swedish coffee. It looks like it's for a large amount of coffee, so I think I'm only gonna put half of it in there. Full-blown boil, baby. I'm gonna take that, and hold it like this, and just take that boiling water and put it over the top.
Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a definite coffee taste that's similar to if you've ever had coffee at like a large function, like a wedding. I might say that it's just a little bit on the weak side. Um, but it's definitely worth a try. I, I think the next time I try it, I would probably make it with more uh, actual coffee grounds. This is like the amount we used. And so if in order to get it a bit stronger, I might choose to do it double, just so that it produces a bit stronger flavor. Hmm, all right, cheers. All right. Cafe hits. Cafe hits. All right. So now it's time to clean up, yo. Coffee hoose. I'm cleaning up with eggs. Next episode on Combined with Eggs. Nestor